Hey, what's up, party people? Mr. ASMR boy here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. So, also, like this video. Today, I have decided to do a Target haul. So, I actually just came from Target. And I got quite a few necessities and a few items for a trip to Las Vegas this coming weekend and this right here is just some wipes some antibacterial wipes to clean down to wipe down the items that I purchased so I will share those items with you and I will also be cleaning them at the same time killing two birds with one stone so shooting a video and cleaning all of my items at once thank you so much for uh, coming along on this journey and uh, let me know what your favorite things to purchase at Target are Target's definitely one of those spots that um, you go in for nine items and you come out with like well, in my case, I come out with like 14. I know there's people who have like a worse problem who will go for napkins and come out with like 18 items. Fortunately, that is not me, but I still bought some extra stuff that I kind of didn't need. But let's get into it. So we will start off with bag number one. We got some bounty paper towels. My parents would be very upset if they know that I if they found out that I bought these individually they always try to get me to buy like the ginormous packs of items from Costco and I live by myself and shit be lasting like forever so next we have some of the Target brand mouthwash it is up and up splendid white mouthwash it was $3.99 so yeah if you don't use mouthwash you might want to start especially if you're kissing somebody mouthwash is the jam next we got some hand soap which was like 89 cents I believe antibacterial hand soap because I mean what's the point in washing your hands with soap that does not have an antibacterial property in it it's almost pointless so and oh another one here we are yeah they had a lot of them so if you guys need to go to Target this is like 79 or 89 cents I actually picked up three because so literally Target is um right behind where I live and well not like right behind but like at least like 300 feet away which is pretty close you could definitely walk there I will definitely not be walking to Target because that's kind of a lot of work to have to definitely don't sound fun but if I had to I could so I got some daytime cold and flu medicine and this is Target's up and up brand and it was I believe $4.99 for 24 of the soft gels I just, I didn't need it, but I just bought it just 
just in case to be prepared. So I mentioned I'm going to Las Vegas on Saturday morning and I got some Crest 3D white toothpaste because I don't like to travel with a ginormous tub of toothpaste. So these always come in handy and they are only 99 cents. We're starting out with the good bag first. So, some of us need some extra strength gas relief. <laughs> um, yeah, I unfortunately am a gassy person. It sucks. Always been. I have acid reflux, and um, this comes in handy. Especially on days when I don't eat right and follow on days when I don't follow the rules. So um, I think like two ninety nine for fifty of these soft gels as well. Stocked up on some tums. So it's like a sixty count of. Target's up and up. That's a good thing about Target is like the Target brand items are quality. They usually taste good and they work well. So unless you are a brand snob, I would recommend the Target brand. Number two. First up, we have some Ziploc bags. These come in handy for like everything, basically. Especially when you have leftover like food or if you live on your own like myself and there's always leftovers this comes in handy I mean I suppose you can also use like Pyrex plastic bowls and stuff which that works well too but sometimes these work great as well so I found these on an end cap I think I got a pretty good deal 249 for 42 gallon storage bags Next, we got some Tide Pods, and no, I recommend you do not eat these. So, I got a pack of 36 of them for 12 bucks, and they work very well. All you literally do is
all you do is throw in one or two Tide Pods before you throw your laundry in and you're good to go. It's that simple, it's that easy. All right, I think we need a new wipe. And I'm hot, I'm gonna wipe my forehead really quick. Man, these like this recess lighting, plus this light, camera light, I mean ring light, makes it very hot. And I turned off my AC and my fan just to get it as quiet as I could. Next we have Colgate Vivid White, excuse me, Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. So. I've been using this toothpaste every day since, I want to say, April. Previously to this one, I purchased a giant three-pack from Costco. And, well, it wasn't giant, but a three-pack of this Optic Wipe. And it, I would say it works very well. But now I'm just stuck on it because I feel like you got to use what works. And I felt like this worked very well. We have some wet ones, single pocket size, antibacterial hand wipes, and these here kill 99.99% of germs. So I got these, there was one left, just picked it up because it was there. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'll be able to use these this weekend on my trip, and so... There's 24 of them, and I got them for $1.99. That's like a steal, so. A steal. It's a so I did mention that I am going to Vegas this weekend. I actually have not been to Vegas since March. I actually, I drove through Vegas about a month ago on my way to Zion National Park, which is in Utah. But we literally just pumped gas and that was it. So I think that inspired a few of my friends and I to return, but actually go to a semi party it up in Vegas because you can't really party like crazy right now but should be a good time hopefully I also got some clear comfort some contact solution because you gotta have clean contacts for great eyes and you have to have great eyes to see the world so I think this was about $2.99. And this is also the Up and Up Target brand. So I know a lot of times people tend to say that Target is like super expensive, a lot more expensive than Walmart. And um, yes and no. Yes, certain items. But the thing that I like about Target is that it's often cleaner the employees are usually a little friendlier targets are usually in nicer locations and i like the target brand items more than the walmart brand items so i'm not trying to convince you to go to target those are just my personal reasons but don't get me wrong walmart has some great stuff too especially if you want to get a great deal, Walmart is the store. I just contradicted myself in such a major way, but Target is the store. Walmart is also the store. Do whatever the hell you want. So I chose Target, but last bag. 
Oh my god, some cups. Some heavy duty cups and what do you know, this is also the Target brand. So there are 72 of these cups. Those are for all the drinks. Oh, another pack of Bounty paper towels. And one random Powerade. Why? Because I seen it and I wanted it. Yesterday I bought three cucumber lime Gatorades at a grocery store named Stata Brothers and also some ginger ale. I should have did a haul yesterday too, I was just being lazy, but I'm actually I actually wanted a red one yesterday of Gatorade. Target didn't have any red Gatorade, the Fruit Punch, but they had a Fruit Punch Powerade. So I'm going to mix this with some vodka. Don't tell anyone I let you guys in on this secret, but Gatorade mixed with vodka is the jam as well for two reasons. If you have really bad acid reflux or just acid reflux in general, there is no carbonation in Gatorade pretty easy on the stomach so um, I've had multiple success stories with it myself in terms of drinking alcohol and mixing it with Gatorade usually it's vodka mixed with the cucumber lime Gatorade is bomb maybe I should do a video on that probably will but it's also good with the the fruit punch one but I'm not really a huge fruit punch fan but I just got this one in case I want one fruit punch vodka drink but yeah, my, my acid reflux has been like flaring up a lot lately. I Yesterday I bought a 12 pack of ginger ale to take, but then today I kind of had a change of heart and was like, I don't even think I'm going to be able to drink this because it's going to mess with my reflux and my esophagus is going to be burning and I'm trying to have fun. So, And that does not sound like fun. And it's not. So yeah, if you guys haven't tried, if you have tried it, let me know if you guys have ever mixed um, alcohol or vodka with Gatorade or Powerade. Oh, so that's what I was getting to. So it's really good if you have acid reflux. It's easy on the stomach. And it's also really good to prevent hangovers. So if you hang out with people who really like to get drunk or like to try and get you to get drunk, really drunk, like really, really drunk, um, and you do fall into that, Using Gatorade as your mixer of choice will heavily prevent that. So, I recommend it. Cheers. You can thank me later. Oh, last item. So, this is the heaviest item of them all. It is a gallon of olive vera juice a gallon of 99.99% organic olive vera juice this stuff doesn't taste that great it's just good for you
going to wipe my own hands because you never know. One thing I was wondering is, have any of you guys out there watching traveled during the pandemic? I have only one, actually, I have twice. Once at the very beginning of the pandemic, I was actually in Florida, Tampa Bay in Clearwater when the country announced the shutdown, which was fucking crazy. Don't recommend ever being in a different state at the beginning of a pandemic. So that was then, but then my second one was a month ago when I went to Zion National Park. But have any of you guys gone anywhere? Where did you go? And what was that experience like? Also, in the comments, let me know. And this is how I will know if you made it to the end of the video is Target or Walmart. Drop a comment, just one word, say Target or Walmart. I am going to be Team Target. But who cares? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Sweet dreams, motherfuckers.